give him a boxing lesson. Floyd Money Mayweather is scared of Manny Pacquiao. 45 have tried. Yeah. 45 have yeah. failed. <laughs> he will school that young man, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao will flat out knock out Floyd May or May Not Weather Jr. in 10 rounds. All right, well, the sports world has been waiting for years. Manny, money, they will fight. Fight. It's only two months away, but our next guest has actually fought both. He's 39 and 4, and two of those losses were at the hands of Floyd and Manny. We welcome in Miguel Cotto to the show. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you getting up early and being here. Before we get to the uh, Mayweather Pacquiao fight, from my understanding, you have an announcement to make? Yes, thank you for having me here. Um, uh, we have uh, an announcement to make today. We have an alliance with uh, promotion, uh, Miguel Cotto Promotion, Miguel Cotto the Boxers, with Rock Nation, and we're, we are more than happy to announce that. So the announcement is that you, you've worked, you're working now with Rock Nation Sports, is that correct? That's correct. We okay. have an alliance now with Rock Nation Sports. All right. Well, congratulations on that. That's huge. From my understanding, it's the uh, second significant signing to their, their, their boxing department. We also hear that you now have a fight in June in New York. Can you tell us a little bit about the fight? Uh, we just figured out the, the, the fight in New York. Probably going to be here in New York uh, for June 6th. And we, we just trying to figure it out with going to be the opponent. And, all, all around the fight. Okay, you're just trying to figure that all out. Well, let's talk about uh, Floyd uh, and Manny. Uh, who do you think will win? I think that's going to be a, a really tough fight. Um, Manny he has his advantage. Uh, Floyd has his advantage too, but uh, working with Freddie Roach for the last two fights, I know what he's capable of doing with Manny, and I think he's going to get Manny through 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 Floyd uh, uh, mistakes during the fight and Manny going to take advantage of, of the fight. I'm, go I'm rooting for, for Manny Pacquiao. So you got Manny winning. Do you have him winning by knockout or decision or what? I think that the, 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 the explosivity, the, the, the quickness of Manny uh, going to have a, a, a big impact on, on Floyd's uh, performance during in, in May 2nd. It is, is he faster? Just quick, because I know Scoop has a question. Is Manny faster than Floyd? I think this, this explosivity going to be the, 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 the advantage. You know, he, he, he can move from here to there in, 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 in less seconds than, than Floyd, and that's going to be the, the, the biggest advantage of Manny. All right, Miguel, since you said you think you have a, well, you didn't think, you said you had Manny winning the fight. My question to you is, okay, you have a fight in June. Once this is all settled out, will you be fighting the winner of this fight next? I have, I have no problem with that, you know. I'm just thinking about my next, uh, next opponent. fight on June, and after that we can, we, can, we can talk about what else. If, no matter if it's Manny or, or Floyd, um, I'm going to be ready for them. I keep hearing rumblings, you know, even though you haven't picked an opponent yet, but I keep hearing rumblings that uh, uh, Amir Khan may be, you know, the one up next that he actually wants to fight you. Is that a chance? Is that somebody you want to see in the ring? Yes, I'm, I'm ready for any big name in boxing, and we just, we're just trying to get the biggest name for us on, on, on June, and if he's going to be uh, American, we are going to be ready for him, too. Cool. Miguel, I want to ask you this, because a lot of people look at Floyd Mayweather, don't think he hits hard, don't think he has knockout power at this weight. Does he hit hard enough to knock guys out at your weight? He, he is a strong boxer. The, the only issue with him is he, he taking care more of, of, of hit your opponent, not, not with a, a a strength with power, but he, he wins the the fight in the easy in the easiest way. All right, Miguel Cotto, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you have again announced your alliance with Rock Nation Sports. Congratulations uh, on that, and I know you have a fight coming up in June. And finally, uh, the big the big news here is that you believe Manny uh, will win the fight over Floyd. Again, thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Coming up next, LeBron James wants to take matters into his own hands when he's on the court. The best basketball player in the world says, I'm on defense now, guys. Uh, we talk about it when we return. We'll be right back in just a few moments. Along, shall we? Crazy play at the end of regulation in the Clippers game last night. Chris yep. Paul missed uh, a potential game winner, and when DeAndre Jordan grabbed his rebound, he just held the ball in his hand because he thought that time had expired. CP3 begging, screaming, Jordan, shoot the ball, shoot the ball, man. Uh, I mean, look. Speaking of fundamental. <laughs> exactly. His reaction was priceless. Um, so, what is your reaction, Scoop? I, um, my reaction to Chris's reaction or my reaction to the <laughs> Both. Both. Yeah, no, I, no, Both. I, I get in that moment um, uh, Chris's reaction because they still had a chance to, to win the game, and, and DeAndre just got caught up in the moment of that buzzer being the final buzzer as opposed to understanding there was one more second left between the shot clock and the game clock. Um, I, I can't speak to what happened. I don't know if that was discussed in the huddle. Like, look, you know, my sale, and I said it in the early morning meeting, Doc Rivers probably sold it as, look, we're going to run the play. Chris, you're going to get free. After Chris makes the shot, the game is over. Coaches <laughs> are historically good on overselling a play and letting you know, like, hey, once he misses, once he makes these two free throws, uh -huh. we have to go back up. So they sell what you think is going to happen. It's a positive sale. And I think maybe in this positive sale, Chris is hitting the shot. DeAndre heard the buzz. He's like, ah, oh, he missed it. He didn't. Didn't click. Didn't click the yo. There's still one more second. There's a second difference between shot clock and the game clock. Two things about this play. Number one, if you look at it, the clock stopped and the ball didn't go. Yeah. Over. It stopped at 0 0.7. So yeah. DeAndre Jordan may not looking. have been able to get a shot up anyway. The clock should have continued because the ball didn't go in. Number two, Chris Paul looked like Chappelle show. When he's dressed up as Prince, shoot the J, shoot it. That's what he looked like to me trying to get DeAndre Jordan to shoot that shot. Josina Anders was out in our morning meeting, our ESP reporter. She said that he had the, what was it called, the face, the frustration face or whatever it was. He was and, looking like, shoot that dang ball. And he was like trying to do everything. And DeAndre Jordan is looking around completely oblivious. Clueless to, to it what's all. going on at that standpoint. That was pure comedy. He and had a JaVale McGee moment. He real, oh, man, you never want to have Yo, and I, I, is he going to be on? I hate to, like, cry. Line, but I see Shaq and the fool all over this. Oh, completely. No, <laughs> this is not top ten plays in sports. No question. Chris, Chris and, okay, I'm sorry. Well, I think like, we're making light of it. You know, DeAndre's had a great season and really a great run with Blake out, but. The thing is, there is some seriousness to this. That's what okay. I was about to go to. Because yesterday. that was a game. They're a game and a half behind Portland. Yeah. And home court advantage in the West. I mean, every series in the West, you're going to face a tough opponent. Yeah. But home court advantage could be the turning point between right. a, in a series. So if they win that game, they're now a half game behind Portland with a chance to, you know, pass them. So It's hard to win in Portland, too. That's a tough, tough loss. And, and I understand why Chris and... And the rest of the teamers were like upset. You yeah, know, like yeah. Put that up. Poetic justice, if you believe in it, do you think there'll come a point in time before the season's over, as tight as the West is, where he's actually on the free throw line to win a game and he makes it to make up for this loss? DeAndre Jordan? Yeah. That DeAndre Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That, that why, guy's... why are you so quiet? Oh. You've been making these faces all, no, just, all morning. I mean, I'm thinking I was with you until you said, and he makes it. <laughs> yes. I said poetic justice. You know, the mess, you know, to, to cover up, you know, to get past. That's not it, poetic you know? justice. That's a dream. <laughs> That's a <laughs> no, and no disrespect to DeAndre Jordan because he's been great defensively. Been I think he's defensive terrific. player of the yes. year. No like, disrespect, did you just say? Well, well his, yeah, his yeah. Free throws are disrespect <laughs> by not, him not making those free throws. So, okay, look. I mean, come me on, that's do, not poetic justice, that's do a me, dream. Do me a favor, when it happens, just... Just tweet. Oh, I'll give him all the credit in the world. No, 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 no. Just I'll give you the credit. I'll let your boy. I'll let your boy. That's all I don't think I'll be making that tweet. I don't think I'll be making that tweet. When it happens. No, no, no. All right. All right. Coming up next, the draft falls on one of the biggest sports weekends in the year. So let's talk about what's going to happen that weekend. We have Mel Kuyper joining us after the break.